We are coming on the air at four o'clock with breaking news from South Bend's West Side. Police are looking into a double shooting, which happened in the last couple hours where both people are determined dead. This is all happening on Lincoln Way we, uh, West. That is right outside the Quality Inn. Our George Mallet is there live. George, there's a lot happening right now. We can see an active scene. What can you tell us? Well, it's 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 raining now, so things have, uh, if you will, cooled off a little bit. But this is an exceedingly tense scene. We have what I will call apparent family members who have gathered around and they've had numerous confrontations uh, with each other and with police. But here are the specifics that we know. Shortly before two o'clock at this Quality Inn, which is essentially in the shadow of the airport, uh, there was a shooting or shootings. Police confirming for us as soon as we arrived on scene that we have two dead adult males inside the hotel. Uh, police, the chief, in fact, when he arrived on scene, was, was asking questions of some of these family members because family members apparently already knew uh, who these uh, dead men were. Uh, and at that point, the chief did, did not have apparently any proper nouns. So, uh, but again, I, I, I can't uh, overstate the amount of tension that we have here and, and the number of sort of um, spontaneous confrontations we've had surrounding the hotel. But here, I want to tell you what the division chief had to say. Hang on a second, I've got the chief here. I'm going to bring him in. Um, uh, chief, the thing that has struck me and I was just sharing with my audience is just how exceedingly tense this scene is. Yeah, it is. And unfortunately, they, they, I mean, you're talking about human beings you have, and family members and friends that uh, apparently get word as fast, if not faster than we do, uh, that show up here and, and emotions run high. Yeah. Um, uh, specifically, what can you tell us about the search for the shooter, or is it shooters? Well, I, I won't comment on any of that yet, but it is ongoing. As, as you can see, you've been here, a dynamic situation um, that we're still contending with. Um, so there's a lot of moving parts to, to all this, but I can tell you that we're, we'll be relentless and, and we'll do our job and, and we'll get just as words deserved. Uh, and and I, I know you, you're limited in how specific you can be, but on our way over here, we noticed that you had a lot of cars in, in the surrounding neighborhoods. It looked like they were actively uh, looking for somebody. Uh, is, are there any um, are they looking for somebody sp specific, I guess, is the question. Well, we're, act we're acting on the best information we have at the time or at the time. That's what we were acting on. But, the, I mean, there's definitely a shout out. St. Joe County Police, Indiana State Police, uh, Airport, uh, and anybody else that showed up. I, you, you saw the amount of uh, extra officers that, that were out here helping to look, and we're not done yet. Um, I asked the division chief earlier if there was any, any threat to the public at large. That does not appear to be, no. Okay, all right. That is uh, your police chief with us here. Uh, that's what we know for now, folks. Uh, I'm going to toss back to you. Uh, we're going to stay on here in the rain and keep you updated with any new information that we get. George Mallet reporting live on scene. Back to you. All right, George, with that extemporaneous reporting tonight. We appreciate that. Thank you. More